Today we're going to uh, make a really cool project that is a, uh, a little horse that walks uh, made of paper. It kind of looks like a horse, a little bit like a dog, but it's called a walking horse. It comes from a, um, a website that's called frugalfunforboys.com. A friend of mine told me about it, and uh, as soon as I saw it, I wanted to make one of these uh, so I could show you guys. Um, I've made uh, two of them so far here, and they actually work. What it is is they walk downhill. We'll go ahead and make one, and then we'll demonstrate how it works. Uh, in order to make one, you will need a piece of paper. You can use um, cardstock as I have here, or if you get some paper, uh, something that came in the mail, just some, some often cardstock comes in the mail and you might have some uh, mail that you don't need anymore, you could use that. Here's a piece, this is the other half uh, of a piece that I made this little guy out of here. This paper is uh, really good. It's a little bit thinner than the cardstock that we use uh, in the art room. And it, uh, he walks downhill really, really nicely. The stiffer the paper, uh, he, he walks a little, a little slower. If you use uh, photocopy paper, uh, like this one is here, he's, he works, it works, but it's a little, uh, a little weaker. So I would try um, to use um, sort of a middleweight um, cardstock type paper or cover stock. So let's go ahead and get started with making the uh, measurements. First of all, we want to, you'll need a ruler and a pencil. And on your paper, uh, what I would do is I would, let's measure 4.5 centimeters from the side. Put a mark here. Do another one, another 4.5 centimeters this way. And another 4.5 this way. Now I'm making three marks and then connecting the marks. Watch how I'm putting my pencil on one of these marks here, line up the ruler with that, and then um, hold the ruler down with my weight on it, and then take pencil and run it along the edge of the ruler, standing up pretty straight uh, with the pencil there. All right, so stay right on the points. Reason for putting three marks is if you only put two, one of them's off, you won't know it. If you put three and one of them's off, one of them will not line up with the line, so you know you made a mistake. Now, next thing um, is to, let's go 15 centimeters from the end of the paper. So I'm gonna make, uh, do the three mark uh, technique again. Go from the zero, put the zero at the edge of the paper. Zero to the 15, 15 centimeters. This is following the measurements from, uh, their, from the website, um, frugalfunforboys.com. Put the zero here and go right there. And they did not, on the website, they don't go this, they don't sh do this exactly the way I'm doing it. They just show you the end result. Uh, but I thought it'd be nice to show you guys how to actually work through the whole project here. So now I have those dots there, those points. Line ruler up and Mark. Next thing, now we want to go five centimeters, five centimeter increments, the zero on the edge of the paper, five, ten, slide it over, line it up, five, ten, same thing over here. Five, ten, then line this up, marks, marks. Now we're at, um, <clears throat> we're going to do these divisions here. These are 1.5 centimeter divisions. 
see the whole width 4.5, then we're going 1.5, 1.5, 1.5 like that, and then take it across to here. Point five, and then to the three, and then we can can do another one, I suppose. So we can have three going across. We'll go one point five here, and three. All right now, line up ruler. You don't need the mark across the middle row. There's uh, we're gonna do here and here. And these are for the legs, the, the head, neck, and tail. So we get this piece here. Now, next thing. Now we're going to cut this out. Remember, squeeze the scissors, move them along. And squeeze the scissors. And don't do the alligator chop chop because we'll make a sloppy cut. Cut all the way to the intersection and stop. Cut all the way to the intersection. Stop. Cut to the intersection, stop, cut to the intersection, stop. Now, one little trick that, about this horsey, his feet need to be rounded on the bottoms. If you'll notice the, in, the middle, the inside part uh, is lower. This is the full length of the paper from here to here. There's a slant upward because the horse rolls left and right when he walks. So what we need to do is on this middle section here, we're going to start here and let this kind of round up like that and round up like that. Similarly, other side, we're going to leave the full length in the middle. We're going to let it round up on the sides. We don't round up too much because we don't want to fall over like this. Take this piece here. Trim it a little bit. Boom. Okay, now we need to score this paper. So rather that we want to make a nice uh, sort of origami fold here, put it along the edge of the ruler, thumb on the line, scoring the paper, making a nice clean origami bend. Like that. Now, we're going to take his, uh, what will be his tail, now this is more like a dog tail than a horse tail. Put your pencil there, hold the finger on it, give a little pull, make you get a little curly. Little curl coming up there. Now, then on his uh, head, we're gonna pull this up, pull the legs down, and it's like this right here. There he is. Now. It's some, there's no specific measurement for the head uh, in the instructions from the website. What I'm going to do is just take this and I want to bend it straight down. So just sort of bend it on itself, bend the neck on itself like that. Whatever you think a good length for a horse head and neck would be, like this. And then, next thing, we're going to do what's called an inside reverse fold. So we'll take this, put a thumb right in the middle there. We're going to bend, we're going to fold this together upward the long way.
put the corners together of this uh, top part here, put it a little bit past the fold. You can't put it all the way down to the bottom of his neck because this is spread out along this edge here. Okay, so put it like that, up this way. Now, next thing is this folds down here. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and pull it, watch, watch this closely. We take this, pull it down, and fold it on itself like that. Fold it on itself. We've done this in some origami projects in art class. Take this, pull it out here, and then if you'll notice, I'm going to squeeze the sides a little bit. Okay. The website didn't, didn't actually show how to do this. They just showed pictures of ones that are kind of like this. And that's one way to do it. It's called inside reverse fold. Now, you want to make sure that your legs are at the same, uh, at, at the same distance or same angle from, with respect to the uh, body. So you'll just have to make those adjustments. All right. And here's our little, there's our little guy right there. Okay. And we'll go ahead and test him out. If you'll notice this leg's back a little bit. Move it in. And now we'll watch the little horsey take a walk. And let's let him walk with his friends too. Oh, they're going to crash. <laughs> to make the course for the horse, you just need an ordinary box lid or something like that, something uh, sort of uh, flat, a flat plane. And I've taken two pieces of paper. These, are, these happen to be cardstock, but they can be any type of paper. They're taped on the back to give you a little a wide area. And then I've laid them on top of some books to give them an angle. You can experiment with the angle, experiment with the type of paper. The paper needs to have uh, not too much traction, but a little bit. The box had too much. Uh, it tend to grab, tended to grab the legs. The paper works a little bit better. Now, here's the horsey going down the hill. There he goes. All right. And that's it. Thank you.